If your computer supports virtual video backgrounds in a Zoom meeting, you can use the video files I have linked in the description below to create an effective role as a timer in a Toastmaster meeting. Let me show you how. The first thing to ensure is that your Zoom client is capable of displaying the virtual video background. You do that by clicking on the arrow next to the stop video icon and click choose virtual background. If you are able to choose one of the video background like this, you are all set. Also, you could check by clicking on the plus sign here and if you see the option add video, it means you are good to go. The next step is to download the video files. If you go to the video description and click on the link, you will be taken to this Google Drive where you find two folders called resources and video files. Double click on the video files and I have four video files that you can download. To download each file, you can right click on the file and click download. Once you have downloaded all the four files, keep them in a separate folder. In this case, I have created them in one folder in my computer called timer video. To use the video files as your timer background, click on the arrow next to the stop video icon and say choose virtual background. Click on the plus sign and click add video. Navigate to the folder where you have stored all the video files and you can load them one by one. Let's say I want to load the table topics first. So I click on table topics, click open and the video file is added here. Click the plus button, add the next video, let's say for the evaluation, then let's say the icebreaker and finally the standard speech. Now we have all the four video files and we are all set. One final thing that I like to do when I'm taking up the timer role is to hide myself from the video and I do that by using a black cloth that I can place on top of the camera. When I choose one of the video timers, let's say table topics, the audience will see only the timer and nothing else. When you want to start timing, click on choose virtual background and depending on which segment you are timing, let's say you want to start timing table topics. The moment the speaker starts speaking, click on the video and automatically you will see that the timing starts. When it reaches one minute, the screen will automatically turn to green. At one and a half minute, the screen will change to yellow. And at two minutes, the screen will turn to red. When the speaker stops speaking, you can change the virtual background to some image. And I have a sample image in my resources that I have included in the link below. I have made it easy to identify which video is for which timer. As of now, there are only four timers for table topics, evaluation, icebreaker and a normal five to seven minute speech. If you want to create your own video files of different timing lengths, I have included resources that you can also download and create using any video editing software. I hope you found this resource useful. If you would like me to create a video of different timing lengths, please leave a comment and I will try to upload that video for you.